what is going on everybody? It is Arwing Master here and welcome back for more of Paper Mario The Thousand New Door. In the last episode, we fought Dupless and he stole our body, so unfortunately we have to go and get it back now. Okay, so... The, we have to run down these flights of stairs. I'm pretty sure there's a, a cutscene coming up here the minute I step out that door. Yes, there was. Wee hee 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 hee. Yes, this time we'll take that Mario and get his map. With this super bomb bomb here, there's no way we can fail. No, not likely. Girl. Vivian, hand me that glorious super bomb bomb. Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that huh mean what I think it does? <laughs> I- I never had it. You were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with. Oh, you terrible liar. Stop making up stories to cover for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it. And obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it, you little lollygagging worm? I- no, of course not, Beldum. Well, we can't do much without it, now can we? Oh, you are such an idiot. Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Marilyn and I go take a well-earned siesta? And if you don't find it, well, you know what'll happen, don't you? I... I get punished? That's right, you little twit, so get cracking. Come, Marilyn, let's leave this useless little fool to her chore. Gah. Well... Her sister is sure I mean to Vivian, but something is about to, to happen, so that way Vivian no longer needs to stay with her sisters. Hopefully I don't get into battle with these guys. I don't have any partners on me. I do have some items though, but I'm gonna save us all some time by not fighting the enemies, of course. At least, at least I'll try not to. There we go, I snuck right past the daisies, haha. -ha. And if I think- yeah, there, see if I get into battle, I'll just run away from them. Run away! Run like you've never ran before in your life, run like the wind, Mario! Daisy was blocking my path. Run, Mario! Run like the wind, like you've never ran before in your life. It's a me. All right. Anyways, we need to make our way back to Twilight Town. At least I. At least I still have the. Um. At least I still have the. Uh, um, at least Dupless didn't steal my move, so that's a good thing. Now, what's coming up here is that we try to fight Dupless, but um, we can't actually. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this body, too. Man, can I jump now. And hey, you're so popular around here. I get mobbed. I just love being you. Yeah, it's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. So you figure it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name belong to me now. See, I've got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body, too. Which means you turn into a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough, either. I am to erase you for good. I guess it would be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This'll be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Hit me with your best shot. Now, notice that the P is missing, so we're not going to really enter anything until we get the P back. Ronamundo, little nobody! Who named their kid that? Prepare for doom, Slick. Yuck, yuck, yuck. And don't even think about running from battle here. No running. Oh, I will. I'm gonna break your little rules. Run! Run like you've never ran before in your life. It's-a me! <laughs> Aww, that's no fun. Darn right it isn't. For you, anyway. But for me, it is. Alright. 
Let's see, I'm pretty sure Vivian was... There should be still around here somewhere. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What do I do? What do I do? Poor me. Now she asked you to get the super bomb bomb back, which we did already. What? You found it? Oh, oh thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I won't get punished now. Oh no! It's it's broken! It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What do I do? What do I do? I guess I was just meant to be punished for life. Hey, don't feel bad. Thanks. You're very sweet. That actually makes me feel a little better. But what do I do now? My sisters will be back any minute now. <laughs> it just disappears. Like, despawns. Hey, wait just a second. What's your name anyway? Won't you tell me? What? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? That's absolutely crazy. Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do. And you were worried about me the whole time. That's so kind. Alright, that's it. I'm going to help you get back your name and your body and your friends. Hey, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anymore anyway. And I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. So, <laughs> here we go. Vivian has joined your party. Awesome! Viv Vivian is one of the essential partners we will use throughout the game. For, uh, for reasons I will explain later. For now, we just need to complete the chapter. When hiding in the shadows, press X to re-emerge. Yes, I will do that. I guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be a start. Now, uh, now how are we going to get that kind of information? Oh, hey, I have sort of an idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around, but they're actually really well informed from all that flying eavesdropping. With my power, you can listen in on their conversations without them knowing. So, in addition to villagers, let's also try to get some info from the local birds. That's the least I could do for you with my powers. Hmm, that's actually a good idea. Let's try it. I'm pretty sure that the birds that have the most useful information is right over here. Hey, Maud, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his sats this year. Oh, is little Ronnie that age already? Well, bless my feathers, Flo. No, that's not. <laughs> They're just being funny. Um, I think the, I think the, um, tree is this one. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb it makes me want to peck their noses. Squawk! The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under creepy steeple, I hear. Because, you know, if no one knows your name, then you can use unstoppable magic. But if someone says your real name to you, then your magic will stop working. So, I wonder how all this is going to end up, then. Did you hear that? If we search under Creepy Steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. Let's go to Creepy Steeple. All right, guys, that's going to end things off for this episode. Next time on Paper Mario's Has a New Door, we're going to go back to Creepy Steeple. Until then, Arwen Master out.